Today I head south out of Sydney. I'll be heading towards the capital of this country, Canberra. The Honda Jazz was just launched in Australia, and I'm really excited about being one of the very first to take it out on the open road. I think Australia and Malaysia are definitely similar in that they have a lot of long, straight highways with very little congestion. Pretty much you can open it up if you want and really, really feel the power of the IV Tech engine. And you can sit back and enjoy all the scenery in front of you. Perfect for this Honda car. I've just arrived at the Australian National University to meet Professor Rod Boswell, who's at the Research School of Physical Sciences and Engineering to tell me more about the hydrogen fuel cell and what he's been doing with it. Professor Boswell? How are you? Hi. Fine, thanks. Good to see you. Good to see you too. My lab uh, is called Space Plasma Power and Propulsion. And we work on making more efficient fuel cells by using the basic physics of plasma. In essence, the plasma is just a gas that's been heated up really, really hot to 10,000 degrees. What we do is use the knowledge we've got from plasmas to change the properties of surfaces. Okay. We want to do that to form a new technology for fuel cells. A fuel cell is sort of like a battery that you can fuel up with hydrogen. You're not using any carbon, you're not leaving any footprint. It's a perfectly neutral way of producing energy. I've always been very interested in cars and I've always been really interested in using innovative solutions based on very interesting physics. At the moment, what we do is take a, a carbon cloth electrode, which looks like denim, but it's made out of carbon fibres. Uh, we put it into our plasma machine, we pump it down to very low pressure, and we can grow little whiskers of carbon that are hundreds of times smaller than the human hair. We can then deposit platinum onto those whiskers. Now that lets a lot of hydrogen through and makes the fuel cell very efficient. So one, you can reduce the amount of platinum, which is good for the environment, and two, you can make the manufacturing method much simpler. We actually have a small fuel cell here that we've made. So you put hydrogen here, air in here, and water comes out here. You put a wire around it, and uh -huh. you can drive a little fan or a light. And I believe, very fervently, that this will be the future for fuel cells. So if you want to want one for a car, it'd probably be that big. So I do think there is a, a future for hydrogen fuel cell cars. In fact, using our technology, you should be able to make a fuel cell so small one day you can swallow it. So the technology opens up new routes to the future. It's actually really an exciting area and seriously interesting and it's wonderful for anyone who's curious and who has a, a real desire to try and find out how things happen and to contribute. This makes your soul rich, I would say. It, it, it gives you something that's worth following. Mm -hmm.